The alien probe that visited us in 2017 left a message for us to the scientific community, claims the Harvard professor Avi Loeb, who believes an alien visited in 2017 and more are coming, according to what he claims. Harvard professor Avi Loeb believes that an alien probe visited our system in 2017 and it brought a message to the academic community. It was an unremarkable day, October 2017, when Canadian astronomer Robert Wirk, uh, Wirk made uh, the astonishing discovery. Thanks to data from University of Hawaii's PanStars-1 telescope at the Kaleakala Observatory in Hawaii, Wirk saw an unusual elongated object about the size of a football field screaming through the solar system 196,000 miles away. The strangest thing of all was that it seemed to be speeding up slightly, pushing, pushed by an invisible force that has yet to be fully explained. Its highly unusual trajectory caused it to pass our sun, leading scientists to believe that the space object, later referred to as Umuamua, or explorer in Hawaiian, was the first visitor from outside our solar system to be observed directly. So it was an interstellar comet object over the past three years, countless attempts made to explain, well, the past five years, to explain the unprecedented features of Umama. Some speculate it was a hydrogen iceberg, while others suggest that it was a traveling space rocket covered in a layer of organic sunscreens, quote unquote. For Avi Loeb, an astrophysicist and professor of science, Harvard University, the answer could be tantalizing. Their controversial argument is that Umuamua may have been a probe sent by an alien civilization, an explanation that has attracted enormous media attention and, unsurprisingly, provide the proved divisive among the experts. In his new book entitled Alien, The First Sign of Intelligent Life Beyond Earth, Avi Loeb explores his provocative hypothesis using the story of Umuamua to lay the groundwork for a much larger conversation. The struggle to be taken seriously within the scientific community that has historically maintained the discussion around the search for ex the existence of remote terrestrial intelligence. During an interview with Futurism, Loeb argued that the scientist's explanation fell short of explaining the many quirks and eccentricities of Umama. The scientific community advocated for something we've never seen before, he said. An example of this was what Loeb called the dust rabbit hypothesis, which theorizes that Umama's strange trajectory could be explained in very low, by very low density. The problem with that is, he says, I don't think something the size of a football field that is a dust bunny would survive a journey of millions of years through interstellar space, he said. Aspiring that hypothesis, he says, I mean, I just don't think it can stick together. For Loeb, the scientific explanations that tried to include Umama and an existing scientific framework simply did not make sense. He says, to, the point is, on the one hand, you can't say it's natural, and then when you try to explain it with natural processes, you come up with something we've never seen before, he says. And that's how it ended up in Aliens. The root of Loeb's alien theory is that Umama may have been a solar sail sent to us from another star system. And in the simplest terms, a solar or dinghy sail is a form of propulsion of a spacecraft that converts the low pressure of solar radiation into motion. Earth scientists have already experimented with the concept. In 2019, the nonprofit Planetary Society launched a craft called LightSail 2, which uses 340 square feet of an extremely thin layer a reflective polyester film to gradually propel itself. For Loeb, a solar sail pushed by starlight could explain the unexpected acceleration of Umuamua. If it is solid and not a dust rabbit, the astrophysicist concluded that the interstellar visitor must also be surprisingly thin, perhaps by his calculations this less than a millimeter thick. For the astronomer, the conclusion of the solar sail was the following steps like detective was to follow steps like detective Sherlock Holmes. When you rule out all other possibilities, 
Whatever you have left must be the truth, he says. That conclusion is an exaggeration for many astronomers in the field who have repeatedly challenged Loeb's conclusion. In a 2019 study published by journal Nature Astronomy, an international team of researchers argued that they found no compelling evidence to favor an extraterrestrial explanation for Umamwa. Umamwa's properties are consistent with a natural origin. University of Maryland astronomer Matthew Knight, co-author of the study, told Reuters at the time, he said, and an extraterrestrial explanation is not warranted. The argument was that Umamwa is a planetismal or a small fragment of a planetary building block that has just drifted through our star system. Warwick, who discovered the object in the first place, had no kind words for Loeb's hypothesis. He says, honestly, that's a bit of wild speculation. He said, I think it's a remnant of another solar system. It's just something that happens to us by chance. And we were very lucky to have been operating the telescope that night and looking in that direction, he said. These rebuttals appear to have emboldened Loeb's investigations into Umama's extraterrestrial origins, as well as leading him to make a passionate plea to the scientific community, as outlined in his book, to take SETI researcher, uh, research seriously. And for Loeb, it's about reading the stars with an open mind. He said, my guiding principle is modesty. If we are not arrogant, if we are modest, we would say that life as we have it must be common. We know now from Kepler satellite data that about half of the sun-like stars have a planet like Earth, roughly the same distance, so it can have liquid water and the chemistry of life as we know it, Loeb said, referring to the habitable zone of the star system within which life could theoretically be supported, life as we know it on our planet. And this is on Collective Spark. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.